been a wet, cool summer in Maine. Despite all the precipitation, I noticed my lawn irrigation was running even though we just received three quarters of an inch of rain the night before. My system includes a Hunter wireless rain click precipitation sensor, and I immediately suspected that to be the problem. I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to fix the issue, but I figured, let's give it a try. <laughs> To test the sensor, I unmounted it and brought it in the garage where I could see the receiver unit. When the manual test spindle is pressed, the sensor status LED should change from green to red. This indicates the battery is still good and the units are communicating. The next step is to take the unit apart and check the hygroscopic disc pack. Note to self, make sure to actually aim the camera at what you're working on. The discs are completely dehydrated, crumbling, and in terrible shape. No wonder the unit didn't work. This is a better view showing how to take the unit apart to change out the discs. Here the new discs are already installed, but I wanted you to see the process. There's a spring as well as a small metal washer. Make sure not to lose these as you'll need to reuse them. You can get a pack of eight hygroscopic discs on Amazon, and they're very inexpensive. I'll leave a link in the description below to the ones I purchased. To install, first place the spring on the shaft inside the housing. Pile the eight discs onto the plastic carrier, topping off with the small metal washer. Then insert the carrier into the top portion of the housing and insert the whole assembly into the rain click. Remount the rain click on the house and make sure it's relatively level. I then tested the unit by hydrating the discs and checking to see if the receiver indicated rain. It did! After a day of hot weather which dried out the disc pack, I noticed the rain click was stopping irrigation from running. Upon closer inspection, it seems the discs after getting wet become thicker than when they're brand new. So I ended up adjusting the system by taking two discs out of the pack and then reassembling. After that, it's been running great. If this video was helpful to you, please strike a like, leave a comment. I very much enjoy hearing from you. Until next time, I'm Maine Jason. Get out there and give it a try.